put a big cam in your car or truck. But we tell you if you got an automatic, you need a stall for converter, not your stop stall converter. The reason being, your factory converter, when it starts spinning off the engine, obviously, most times it's going to engage anywhere from 800 to maybe 1600, 1700 RPM, depending on your vehicle. You go put a big cool cam in there, it needs to idle up a lot more than five or 600 RPM. It's going to want to idle at like 950 to 1000 sometimes. Obviously, that's going to start to engage this stock stall converter, and the car's going to be jerking and not wanting to idle, and you'll be spinning on the brake, fighting it at idle. That's when you need to step in, upgrade to something like this. This is a FTI 32 to 3400 stall converter. So, you put that in, that's going to raise the stall speed from the factory 800 to 1500, whatever it is, to 3200. Starts to engage the clutches later, it'll let the idle settle down a lot better. Actually, it'll make it leave harder because it's kind of like dropping the clutch out in a manual car versus this unhappy thing that's just a bunch of click it and D and go. So that, gonna let it out better, leave harder. And today, most transmissions have lockup converters. Back in the day, everybody was so scared of torque converters that was small because they said it made a lot of heat. Well, nowadays you get up to 50 miles an hour or wherever it's gonna lock the converter, there's no more slipping. You don't gotta worry about making a lot of heat in your transmission. So long story short, you want a big cam, you want to put a stock converter in there. Make an unhappy automatic, a rip and roar and automatic. 